If you or someone you love has vitiligo, you're not alone. Millions of people worldwide live with this condition, where patches of skin lose their color. The good news? Science is making exciting progress. Let's talk about what treatments work right now and what's coming next. Vitiligo happens when the immune system mistakenly attacks melanocytes, the cells that give skin its color. This leads to white patches, often on the hands, face, or around the eyes and mouth. But vitiligo isn't contagious, it's not caused by diet, and it's definitely not something to be ashamed of. It's just skin. Yours is unique. Is there a cure? Right now there's no permanent cure, but treatments can help restore color, slow progression, and even things out. Let's break down what's FDA-approved, what's emerging, and how to protect your skin along the way. FDA-approved treatments. 1. Opsilura Ruxolitinib Cream. The Breakthrough. In 2022, the FDA approved Opsilura, the first topical treatment specifically for vitiligo in people 12 and older. It's a JK inhibitor cream that calms the immune system, helping pigment return, especially on the face and neck. What to expect? Apply twice daily for several months. Best results when combined with sunlight or light therapy. Mild side effects like acne or itching are possible too. Topical corticosteroids, old but helpful. Steroid creams like clobetasol can help small patches regain color especially early on, but long-term use may thin the skin, so doctors often rotate treatments or use them intermittently. 3. Non-steroid creams. For sensitive areas like the face or eyelids, tacrolimus, protopic, or pimacrolimus, elidel, are great steroid-free options. They're used off-label, but many patients respond well. 4. Light therapy, narrowband UVB. Phototherapy using special UVB light helps stimulate pigment cells. It's painless but requires consistency, typically two to three sessions per week. Many see the best results when combining it with topical treatments like Opsilura. 5. Depigmentation for extensive vitiligo. If vitiligo covers more than 50% of the skin, some people choose depigmentation therapy. This involves using creams like monobenzone to even out the skin tone by removing remaining pigment. It's permanent, so it's a big decision. But for some, it brings confidence and peace of mind. Emerging treatments, hope for the future. Science isn't stopping. Exciting new options are being studied, including oral JAK inhibitors like ritlicitinib, which may be stronger than creams, stem cell and melanocyte transplants for stable vitiligo, anti-IL-15 drugs targeting the immune system more precisely. These aren't FDA-approved yet, but they show how much progress is happening. Lifestyle and skin care tips. While treatments help, protecting your skin is key. Wear SPF 30 or higher every day. Vitiligo patches burn more easily. Camouflage makeup like Dermablend can help blend patches if you prefer. Moisturize regularly. Healthy skin responds better to treatment. And most importantly, connect with support groups. You are not alone. Vitiligo doesn't define you. Whether you choose treatment or embrace your skin just as it is, the most important thing is feeling confident in yourself. With new options like Opsilura, phototherapy, and promising research, there's more hope than ever. Subscribe and stay updated with simplified health information. Stay informed. Stay healthy.